This video tutorial provides an overview of the Symbiology app and walks you through the basics on navigating the interface. You can launch the Symbiology app by clicking on the Symbiology icon in the Apps Gallery or by typing Symbiology at the MATLAB command prompt. Symbiology app provides an interactive point-and-click environment to build, simulate, and analyze models of dynamic biological systems. The tool strip provides easy access to frequently used actions. Related functionality is grouped together in tabs. Some tabs, such as Home and View, are global tabs that are always visible. Additional contextual tabs will appear in the tool strip as you need them. The Home tab provides options to act at the level of the Symbiology project. For example, open and close projects or add new models or tasks to the current project. The Home tab also provides options to modify Symbiology environment preferences. Any changes made to these environment variables are applied to all projects and will be remembered across sessions. To open an existing project, click Open, navigate to the file location, and select the desired project file. Some biology projects have a SPProj extension. Projects lets you organize and manage the modeling and simulation work performed in the Symbiology app. The project file is a convenient container to save related models, analysis performed on those models, as well as associated experimental data and analysis results. The project page here provides a structured overview of the project content. This content is categorized into three groups. Workspace groups together models and imported datasets. Tasks are analyses such as simulation, parameter estimation, and sensitivity analysis. Task results, as the name suggests, contain data, plots, metadata generated by the tasks. You can further organize the project by grouping items inside folders. For example, you can create a new folder to group tasks performed on the PK model. The Add New Folder option is available in the context menu that is accessed with a right mouse click. You can also rearrange the order of items or collapse expand folders to manage the view here. Use the Add options on the Home tab to add new content to the current project. You can also create copies of the existing components and then edit it to create a slightly modified version of an existing model or task. To view or modify a project component, for example a model, double-click on it on the project page. Depending on the selection, additional contextual tabs appear in the tool strip. For example, when you open a model, the Model tab appears in the tool strip. This tab provides quick access to actions associated with the model, such as choosing different model views and exporting the model to a different format. You can navigate between project components in a couple of different ways. Just below the tool strip is the address bar. This shows the breadcrumbs to the current location. You can use the breadcrumbs to navigate back to the project page and jump to the desired location from there. You can also use the content window for navigation. Just like the project page, the content window displays a structured view of the project contents. You can dock the content window to leave it open for easy access. The content window also provides access to libraries, represented by the book icon here. Symbiology comes with a built-in library of kinetic laws, units, plot types, and blocks. You can add user-defined content to these libraries. For example, you could create a custom block library to support a particular look and feel for your models. Libraries are not part of any one project. Content of a user-defined library is always available to all projects. When you open a model or dataset, it opens in the main Symbiology desktop. When you open a task, it opens in the task editor. 
You can work in the task editor as a separate window to maximize available screen space, or you can dock the editor in the SimBiology desktop to work on the task alongside a model. The docked view comes handy when you want to frequently switch between editing the model and evaluating it to investigate the effect of the modifications. To undock the task editor, click here. The task editor is associated with two contextual tabs. The editor tab lets you open existing tasks, add new tasks, access model simulation settings, and evaluate the tasks, among other things. You can have more than one task open in the editor. Multiple tasks appear as tabbed windows in the editor. The task editor is divided into three sections, task, explorer, and live plots. The task section allows you to specify task settings, such as models used in the task, stop time for the task, as well as variants and doses to be applied to the task. You can also set options related to the particular task type here. For example, with a scan task, you need to list the model quantities being scanned and the range of values to be used in the scan. The Explorer section supports an interactive exploration of your analysis. You can define sliders to interactively investigate the effect of model quantities and dosing schedules on the simulation output. For example, in this group simulation task, we can investigate the match between observed data and model prediction as a function of the clearance and volume. For each task, you can independently configure the editor to show or hide individual sections. For example, when working in the iterative mode, you may choose to hide the task section. You can visualize the results of the analyses in the live plot section. As you move sliders, you can instantaneously visualize how your quantities of interest respond to that change. This video focused on working in the SimBiology app. However, you can also work with SimBiology via the programmatic interface. The programmatic interface allows you to automate your workflows for batch processing and to extend SimBiology beyond the built-in tasks by writing your own analysis tools around SimBiology models. You can see the MATLAB code behind each standard analysis task in SimBiology, so that when you want to write your own custom analyses, you can build on top of the available tasks without starting from scratch. Here we see the MATLAB code for the task that we just ran. In addition to the task code, the MATLAB code capture tool records all the MATLAB commands associated with your actions in the SimBiology app. You can use these two tools together as a helping aid to learn more about the SimBiology functions. Visit SimBiology documentation to learn more about working with SimBiology at the command line. Once done with modeling, save your project by clicking on the Save icon here or here, or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-S. To close the project, click on Close here, which brings us back to the Recent Files page. Recent Files page displays recently opened project files, example projects and data from documentation, and community contributed files that you can directly load from MATLAB file exchange. That concludes this getting started video. You can start working with SimBiology now or watch one of the other videos.